Hey guys, um, <laughs> well, um, a little stand didn't really hold out too well. Let me redo this one here. Hey guys, today I, um, got this cool little thing in the mail. Um, actually, I got it for Christmas, so I'm glad it came in the mail today anyways. It's a nice little powerhouse, so it's a little keyword right there, a little powerhouse. It's um, nothing crazy like what other people have on YouTube, but um, it definitely throws out um, a lot of light. No keyword there. Um, right here, I have. Let me give me, give me a minute here. I have the Ultra Fire, right? It's a Cree T6, so it has a nice, nice. Um, LED in there, it has uh, the Cree LEDs, I think that's what they call them, but uh, anyways, it has uh, adjustable on here, so if you want to uh, do different zooms on it, as you can see, it has, zooms it in, it zooms out, um, you can adjust that however you want, it has a side on and off button right here, and it doesn't have a end button, it just little sticker that's it um, so it just has a side button um, alright it comes with a holder that holds three triple A's so you can actually put this into the flashlight and run it with three triple A's if you wanted to um, I'm not really sure on any of the specs I'll probably put a link to um, the specs in the description but I wouldn't think Triple A's would run long at all because I mean you just put it. It's actually pretty nicely uh, machined too because it just slides in perfect, like not much jiggle at all. And um, I like how it has it's has a spring on it, so no matter like the connection, it's always going to be a good connection. Um, if you don't get the three, the thing for the Triple A's little three holder thing, you will get a. 18650 um, battery so this is a 18650 this is a lithium ion battery right yeah lithium yeah anyways um, and it's a 3000 some miller milliamps yeah maybe milliamps sounds about right you guys can just uh, read that if you want real quick the 3.7 volts um, and it comes with this nice little case to put your battery into right here you see battery goes into it actually I'll get out my one that's charged that's the one that I was charging but I stopped right so this is my charge battery I get two of them so it's always nice I can have one charge and one uh, in the flashlight um, so all you gotta do a positive end goes in this sits out a little further than the um, AAA, but that doesn't matter. It does have that spring on it, so that make even better fit on it. All right, so that closes in. The cool thing um, to this flashlight is it it has actually it came with two chargers. It came with a car charger and like a wall charger. But the downside to this flashlight is it has like you have to charge it through this little port right here and um you can still use it like you can still use it while it's charging but um you know you can't like go walk out of the house with it because it's only on like this little this little um cord so that's kind of downside I, i'm buying a um a night core um i2 2 or something charger for it and that will support um 18650 batteries and a whole list of other batteries. It's actually a pretty good buy. Um, thirteen ninety nine on Amazon, and I'll get it in two days because um, I got Prime, so that'll be nice. Um, definitely worth it. Cause then I can have this battery out, use this battery that's inside of here. This battery I can charge. So this battery doesn't have to be anywhere near me. It doesn't have to be charging. Like I don't have to wait for this battery to charge before I go use the flashlight. I can use the flashlight with the battery in here while this is charging or if I really even wanted to I can throw in my triple A's which j work just as well as 
um, 18 650 battery and um, I just use that while both of these charge because I am getting the um, two slot charger I'm not getting the four because there's really no point to it but I'm just gonna get the two slot for these bad boys right here um, so that's pretty cool and so like I said the machinery is real nice real smooth all around I'll, um, I'll take off the top for you guys so you can take a look alright so you got this is top taken off it's just nothing in it you got your lens right here I don't know if you can pop this off I haven't really uh, I don't really want to touch it alright um, well I'll leave that there oh this uh, well ah uh, shoot So that's taken that apart. Um, I don't really want to touch this anymore. Um, I'm gonna throw this all back together because I don't want to be stupid and take it apart and lose everything. Um, okay, well, now I basically did lose everything. I'll show you what popped out. Okay, so um, you have one little spring, a little tiny spring that goes into this little tiny hole. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna go spring first because you have your little tiny ball bearing. The little ball bearing is probably what's gonna keep this thing turning pretty nice, not getting stuck. Um, let's see what we got here. All right, sorry, my, um, my mom needed to talk to me. Um, she didn't know that I was doing a video, so that's whatever. And uh, you guys could hear my dog a little. It's just my dog, you guys should know. Anyways, um. I got the thing back together. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen, really. Um, I had no idea that it was kind of like pop apart on me. But you guys um, probably want to see what this looks like when it's fired on. Uh, I'll do the 18650 batteries just to show you guys, because why not? And um, I don't know which one I which one I charged. I'll just do this one. I already got it in the sleeve. Uh, so I'll bring this one outside. You guys won't be able to see it as good as I would be able to see it. Just because um, I'm recording on an iPad. But um, you guys will get the gist of how good this flashlight really is. I think it works pretty good. Uh, when you're outside, you can actually see a lot. So I'll bring you guys out there and um, I'll show you the flashlight more. Alright guys, I am in my backyard and it is cold it is really really cold uh you guys can't really see the stars that well you can see that one that's about it though like, yeah that's about it all the stars you can really see oh, another star anyways um really cold no no wind at all this is just in my backyard standing from my porch and this is the high and this is the flood so you can see my shed out there you can see my pool you can, if you guys really focus out, you can kind of see a barrel maybe. Alright, and then if you focus that, you get like this weird little square. See, you can see out there. Alright, and then medium. Flood. And then low. That's up. Oh. You guys get to see this one. All right, this is the other one. This is um, I can't, I can never remember. What is it called? Whatever. It's you guys know what it's called. Strobe. It's called strobe. Um, and then this is SOS. No, that's high. Medium, low. Strobe, SOS. So that lights it up pretty well. Um, I'll do. You guys can see real quick. Yeah, lights the whole side of my house like nothing. That's on high. All right, and then medium looks about the same. Low, you can tell a little bit of a difference, and then focus it in. And then strobe, and then SOS, and then I'll show you guys. Let me just focus it real quick. 
you guys can't really see it too well, but there is a beam going up. But uh, it's it's a bright little light. It's definitely worth it, I think. All right, heading back in. All right, guys. Um, I just froze my butt off for you guys, so please like this video. Um, it is cold. <laughs> it really is. And um, I think my neighbor was outside. He's not too fond of me. Um, because last time we talked was when he yelled at me about shooting fireworks. And uh, yes, it is illegal in Massachusetts, Massachusetts to shoot fireworks, but um, no one really cares about that law. Um, it's just fun shooting fireworks. I don't. I mean, unless you're real strict, um, strict about them, then no one's gonna really have a problem. But he had a problem because I was shooting ball rockets in. We were shooting them out of some like water bottle, like a Poland Spring water bottle or something. So I had two or three of them in there. And one shot off, which knocked the bottle over, and the other one shot into his barnyard like field. And I guess he was back there, so he, he got pretty upset about that. That was the last time we talked, and I uh, think he might have been out there, but whatever. I mean, it's a flashlight. What, a, what are you going to do with a flashlight? So, guys, I wish you guys could actually see this, like, a lot better. Like, the video isn't isn't going to really, like, I don't know. You can't really see, like, the best with the video. Even if you had, like, the best camera in the world, I don't think you guys would be able to, like, tell how good this flashlight is. For a cheap uh, powerhouse flashlight, it is, it definitely throws off a lot of light. It's not... It's nothing compared to any like the real big powerhouse like 3,000, 6,000 lumens like flashlight. Those are like insane. I won't compare anything to these, but this is definitely a good um, starter flashlight if you want to get into like the powerhouse flashlights or just have a bright flashlight like all around. Like I'm going to use this for scouts and for camping and stuff like that. Like it's, it's nice. It's bright. It definitely is durable. I like how durable it is, and uh, I like how it has this around the top, it keeps your lens from getting scratched, so you can put it down on like, the table, and you won't get scratched, the, the lanyard is pretty nice too, it it's, has a pretty long lanyard, and pretty uh, wide, so I have a big hand, easily fit that around me, and it has enough space where you're not like trying to stretch for the um, power button, it's like right there, So and you still have space, so if you go to drop it, it catches pretty good, so, well, obviously, but that's what lany lanyard's for, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be getting a charger for that, so I'll hopefully have my charger so I can charge these two batteries a lot better because I don't really like having to charge it on the flashlight itself because it, it's just not convenient having to charge a battery and wait for it and then being able to use it after when you can have them both charged up, use your AAA batteries for you have the option and then once they both charge you can use one at a time and you can charge the other one so you don't have to keep like so you don't have to use the flashlight as a charger so it frees up the flashlight so you can actually use it which is always a good thing um both combined together the flashlight and charger are pretty good deal this being 20 bucks or something 17 bucks and the charger being fourteen dollars on Amazon and we're getting it in two days because I got Prime so that's definitely gonna make life easy um, but although it's kinda convenient that uh, they do have the car charger and the wall charges it's, it's pretty nice I don't, I don't mind it at all so uh, hope you guys like this video um, please comment anything that could be helpful towards me knowing more about this because I didn't really read up on it too much. Like, I watched the reviews and stuff, and I was like, oh, great flashlight, but I didn't really watch, like, I didn't really, like, look up, look up anything really about it. So if you guys got any suggestions or anything that that would be kind of, like, cool to let me know, please let me know. Um, if I messed up in this video, if I said something wrong, please let me know that too in the comments because um, I just don't want to mislead anybody else, and so... Like, what everyone does, everyone reads the comments. So just by reading the comments, they'll know that I did mess up. And they'll be able to get the right information about this. Because I do not want to be um, handing out false information about this flashlight. 
although it is a great flashlight, I don't want to be doing that. Because, uh, who wants to be, like, basically, like, lied to, even though if I wasn't meaning to lie to them. So, just having the knowledge of, uh, yeah, um, I don't know where I was going to go with that. Just trying to be smart, whatever. So, yeah, guys, um, hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm going to be posting a butterfly knife tutorial thingy that I'm going to be doing. Because I've been learning a couple of good tricks, um. For a beginner, so I'll show you guys that. Get a tutorial out on YouTube probably this week because I'm on vacation, so I have enough time. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.